Hey, what's up? This is Spider Prime One back again with another video. Now I know this shot should look familiar. These are all the Lego Star Wars Four Plus sets that I have already talked about, and since I've already talked about them, why do I have them here? Well, that's because the new one came out. It is the first day of August of 2022, and this is this year's Four Plus Lego Star Wars set, the ATST. Now, I saw pictures for this back when they were leaked, and I honestly am perfectly fine with that half of the ATST. I think it looks fine for the size that they're doing it in. Kind of makes me think of the very first one they did where it's all blocky, and they just have the little square pieces for the, the windows and the top of the head. What I don't like are the legs. I, mm, the legs bug me. I don't like that they're a solid piece. If, if, if with the X-Wings, we kind of hearkened back to the old clicky wings, like the original sets had, I was, I was really hoping, I was really hoping that we were going to get the segmented clicky pieces for the legs. So that way it could bend here at the knee and at the foot. And I would have loved this set a lot more. And it would have been worth the $35 price tag that this set has. Yes, this set costs just as much as the Luke's X-Wing and Death Star Trench uh, set from the very beginning. And, I mean, I haven't opened it yet. Still, still sealed in box. So we will see if I am okay with that price or if... Or if I think this is a little too overblown. But yeah, I wanted to build it on camera. Have my first initial impressions live. So, I mean, we'll take a little look at the box here just real quick. And then we'll get into building it. Again, with my problem with the legs, the, it shows right there. He's supposed to be walking, but his foot just, uh, it just doesn't look right. I don't like it. But I do like the Scout Trooper and the ATST driver. They look phenomenal. I like the, the printing on the helmet for the driver. I like how detailed the Scout Trooper is. I'm not a big fan to get yet another Wicket, but I do like that they have the, the patched stitching on the top of his hood. So that's something. And then on the back of the box, like all the uh, four plus sets, they just give you a static display of all the items and all the the weapons that they come with. I do find it fun funny that they don't put the weapons in the characters' hands. They just show you that there are weapons. And then it shows you how easy the build is for the ATST, and then it shows you that you can either throw rocks off of the top of the tree or you can launch them with the little launcher here. So let's go ahead and get this open. Looks like I don't need to punch that one out because the whole box just came with it. So, bag number one is the ATST. There's our instructions for bag number two. There is bag number two. Whoa! What was that? Come here. Ah, here is our big piece the back of the head. So that actually doesn't look too bad. I, I kind of like that. And then let's get the other instruction booklet. And there it be, the ATST. So we'll set bag two and book two off to the side. Set that there. And I will lower the camera, do not worry. Put the trash back in the box, because I'm not gonna keep the box. zoom out here just a little bit. Okay, so here we'll shove everything off to the side. And there's a QR code if you want to follow along. Yeah, showing to put the head with it. All right, so first we got to build our dude. So legs, body, 
So we've got a smiling face and an angry face. We'll give him the angry face. Let's see, here's his helmet, which, yeah, look at that. I like the the printing on that with the, the goggles. That looks really nice. And then here is his blaster. So we'll give him that. Yeah, looks good. Okay, so we want the head and we want a blue piece. Here we go. Pop that right in there. And then we want our slopes. And our eyes. Look at that, we're almost done. Oh wow, I wasn't kidding. <laughs> Here's the roof. And we want our little hatch piece. Once I go in that way. I like to follow the picture and the instructions. Except for on the, the big TIE fighter, because they printed that one wrong. And then this goes here and gives him a, a little sun visor. We got these pieces, which are the cones with a little extra, extra long nubbin. We stick that in there. And here's the second one. There we go. Then we put these on the other side. We just put a white piece right there. And a blue piece. And then a megaphone piece. And then we're going to do the same on this side. That's kind of a bummer that the two guns aren't different. But, you know, for simplicity's sake, for a 4 plus set, I, I can understand. I just think it would have been cool if the, like, they could have kept it to one piece each, but they could have used two different piece types. But yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Oh, now we're going to build the waist. So we'll get this piece and this piece. We'll go like that. Put this piece and the cover... there. Oh, and then it goes like this. Interesting. And then the legs go with the knee facing forward. And we'll build him some feet. Pretty involved for a 4 plus, I will say. I like the slight complica complexity to the build. And then we put the toes on, which are printed pieces. He's got some mud on his toes because he's walking around Endor. And then we just slide them on. And there we go. There's the ATST. 
Not too bad. Could have been a lot better, but not too bad. And then we will, we'll plop our driver in there. Why not? There's nowhere for him to plug into. So he just kind of stands. We'll bend his arms down just a little bit. Oh, okay, no, we gotta, we have to sit him down. Turn the gun in. Oh, we can't turn the gun in because it has a trigger. There. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Well, he's in there. Okay, it's not that hard to get him out. That click just worried me. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, there there he is, all safe and snug inside the ATST. Let's see. I guess I'll just drop his gun in there. Let it rattle around. Okay, so there's there's the ATST. We are now half done. And one extra piece. pieces are out of the plastic. We got our instructions. All right, let's get our scout trooper first. And we have a smiling, looks like a female head, and it's only one-sided face. I'm glad they're not doing angry clone anymore, but I don't, I don't like that she's smiling. I would, I would like a grimacing face more. And then we will give her a blaster. I do like that though. Scout troopers are always my favorite. Oh, and I guess we're not gonna, we're not gonna put little, well, we'll put Wicket together. I'm gonna I'm gonna master build here and not follow the instructions. Just to get him done and out of the way. There. There's Wicket. Okay, so we're gonna build us a speeder bike. And we want these two pieces, which were conveniently next to each other. And then we want the handle squares. And a plate. Oh, this is the front. Okay. It's interesting. And then we'll build the little back bit. Slope in that away. We get the little gold ingot piece. And then we got these two. And then we put our triangles on. There we go. 
And then I won't do it just yet, but we will compare it to the snow speeder that came with the Hoth snow speeder. But yeah, there's our biker scout with her scout or a speeder bike. Scout trooper speeder bike. Alright, two thirds. There's Wicket. Okay, green plate. Half of tree. Other half of tree. I got a piece right here. On the half piece, half circle, half oval. Then we got this piece on the front and a light green leaf right here. We got some clippy pieces. And then we build our railing. We'll turn it around and that is a dark green leaf. It wants it right there. And then we layer the leaves dark on top of light. Like so. And put that one there. And put that one there. And there, Oop, let's see if we're done yet. We're not done yet because we gotta build the the flinger. And it goes right in the corner, away from the foliage. We got three rocks here. There we go, we'll put one in the launcher. And then we'll set one here and one here for Wicket to throw down on the scout trooper. And we'll put him on his perch. And we have one extra piece. All right, and then that is us done. And here is a look at all the late summer 2022 sets. And okay. Was there anything on the back of this one? Yeah, just the regular stuff. Okay, so yeah, that was a quick, easy build. I kind of like it. I like the, the tree here. Here, let's zoom back in. That's yeah, not too bad. For $35, eh, your mileage may vary. I mm, it could have been cheaper. It could have been, you know, 30 bucks, maybe even 25. But eh, I I don't know. I I like it. I like the the I was going to say pieces, the uh, minifigs that are included with it. Not really so much wicket, but then again, I just I have so many of him. But yeah, the the new the new biker scout helmets, I love them. They're so nice. And then I like I like the ATSD driver. Haven't had an ATSD driver since oop, popped his helmet off. Let's get him out of there. Since the one that came out before Rogue One. Uh, I don't remember how old that specific one is, but yeah, I like I like this guy. I like how detailed he is. I like the molding on his helmet, and the rest of him is pretty plain. But you know, he's he's an ATST driver. He's not gonna have 
a lot of stuff on him. So we'll sit him back in there. Pop the gun back in. Put the lid back on. And yeah, the build, the build for the ATST. Again, the top half doesn't look bad. I really don't mind it. I for a while I was kind of upset with this big plate. I was like, why is it jutting over? It's like, oh, it's because we didn't want to put the flaps over it. Because I feel like the the squares that have the little pegs, like like the triangles, if you were to clip those on there, they would just shield the entire thing. Which at that point you could make the Hoff ATST, which they you know they debuted earlier this year. But I can I can understand why they wanted to do the Endor version and not the Hoth version. But yeah, I actually I actually don't mind the majority of this build. I just I wish the legs were better. I don't like the way these look. But we got we got ratchety joints, so here let's put it in a in a walk. Nope, he doesn't want to hold it. But we can make him kind of off kilter. Yeah, he'll probably just stay static or maybe bend it down or bend it up. That's the one thing is I really wanted better legs so that way he was poseable. But what can you do? You can fling a rock at him. Hey! <laughs> But yeah, um, oh, let's do those speeder comparisons real quick. So looking at them, the Hoth one definitely has more pieces to it. And it's a lot more bulky in the back and in the front, kind of, because it uses a bigger, a bigger solid piece. I do like that the front is basically built the same way. Didn't really notice that because I, well, I wasn't really looking. I was just looking at the instructions. He actually has a seat, or the sorry, the Hoth one actually has a seat, whereas this one he's just sitting sitting on the baseboard. So yeah, out of these two, the the Hoth one is definitely better. But I like the figure that this one comes with, so it's like I would just want to swap the two, which actually I don't have to do because I have the Hoth Trooper Battle Pack, and that comes with a. Hoth Biker Scout on a Hoth Speeder, which is a better speeder than this one. So we're, we're covered on all angles there. But yeah, um, I, I, it's up to you. I didn't mind paying what I paid for it. I also got mine at a little bit of a discount because I work at the big red store, but I don't know, for some people, this is definitely not going to be worth $35, especially if they're buying it for a kid and not themselves. But that that is a decision only you can make. So I w I'm okay with it. I like it. Out of the six, I would probably put this one, oh, probably fifth out of the six beating out Poe's X-Wing only because this comes with stuff and his didn't. It was just the X-Wing, which, I mean, it was 20 bucks, so you, you got what you paid for, kind of. But this one, I don't know. I, I like that this is a lot more meaty than the slab and the ice pick. It's not as big as, you know, the trench run, but it's still, this is a better add-on piece to go with. But I wish the ship or vehicle was better. So, I don't know. I can't really, I can't really give a definitive go out and buy it. But if you're like me and you've got the other five, I say it's worth getting, getting just to add to the collection. But this has been Spider Prime 1. I'm signing off. Okay, so I have a little bit of an amendment to make on the video that I shot back on the 1st of August, and it is no longer August. Um, when I was building this on camera, I couldn't really see the instructions all that well, 
And no, I wasn't looking through the viewfinder, so that was my fault. But in the instructions, the only part I could see was this side. And it shows the leg bending forward like this on in both both images. But then, yeah, you're supposed to... It's the chicken walker, so the legs are supposed to bend backwards. I made the mistake in the beginning part of the video. Um, it does look a lot better with the legs facing the correct way. So I was, I was a dumb, I, I wasn't paying attention when I, when I was doing the, the first part. And so, yeah, this is just a little addendum to the end of that. Um, I do still like this set. I like having, I have fun with the, with the ATST. But yeah, I still, I still say like, if you really want it, go get it. But that $35 price point might might turn a few few people away. But maybe maybe it'll go on clearance by the time Christmas rolls around or, or Black Friday. But yeah, so I'm Spider Prime 1. This is my little addendum at the end. I'm signing off.